Hi guys, welcome back to Gadget Game and a new series in the Black Series range. Um, and I'm very pleased to have in front of me this centerpiece from Hasbro. Um, if you haven't seen my videos before, normally I'm a guy that likes to keep the Black Series pieces mint in box, but I am going to be unboxing this one because I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Um, so please, you know, if you, if you do like this video, stick around. There's going to be more coming. Um, or check out my other videos on the Black Series. Um, but as I say, I'm really excited for this one. I've been waiting for this for a while since it was announced uh, because I really think this makes something of the figures. You know, it is a display piece. It does light up. It's you know, it's got quite some detail in it by the looks of it. Um, so I'm really pleased to have got one. Um, I know they've been out in the US for a little while now, but they're slowly trickling over to the UK. So um, I've managed to pick one up for a decent price. Um, I believe there's only two in the series at the moment. I believe there's this one, the Darth Vader one, obviously, um, and uh, Luke Skywalker, which I will have coming soon. So keep an eye out on my channel for that. Um, and the great thing about this is, you know, it is sort of an action shot rather than just your um, standard figure. You know, it is in a nice scene. It does light up, as you can see on the box. Um, you've got like a blaster explosion. You can see the door has been cut away by Vader with his lightsaber. Um, I think that's my only peeve is that the lightsaber doesn't light up. I mean, you're going to have a figure that lights up involving a lightsaber. The one thing you have light up is the lightsaber. So that is a little bit annoying um, and frustrating. And, you know, I hope that Hasbro sort of address that in future um, releases. I, I don't know if they're going to do any more. I don't, I'm guessing they're going to see how these two go uh, as to whether they do any more. But... You know, if they, if they do, hopefully they'll sort out that light, uh, that lightsaber there. Um, but you know, that that's a small, that's a small pet peeve. Um, you know, I'm sure the figure will way outweigh not having that on there. Um, so as you can see on the box, you've got a big sticker saying "Statue lights up." It says it's part of the Black series. Um, you've got a nice sort of background sort of strip here. Um, putting them on the Tentive 4 at the start of A New Hope. And it kind of places Vader in the middle of that scene, as if he's sort of coming in with his stormtroopers behind him, and the rebels sort of fighting him off, sort of almost aiming directly at, to, the, uh, to the left of him, like we see in Rogue One, uh, which is a brilliant scene of Vader taking on the rebels. Um, I'm not sure if it's meant to be that, if it's meant to be sort of a, um, a cross between the two, a sort of in between... Rogue One and A New Hope, but you know I think this is obviously a fantasy scene. This this is never seen in any of the films, um, but you know it, it it does look pretty cool. It's Vader in action, which, as we saw in Rogue One, is absolutely amazing. Um, so there's not a lot else on the front box here. I mean, it's got an odd 18 plus, which I can only assume is an age rating, uh, because this isn't a toy. This is a you know, this is uh, uh, an, or, an ornament, almost, uh, a display piece. It's not meant to be played with. It's not like the Poseable Black series, I don't imagine. Um, I think it is in a fixed pose. Uh, but we'll see that when we get it open. Um, and then it takes two AAA batteries. Um, and it's got a serial number uh, for the Black Series edition. Um, so as, we, as you can see, if we turn it around to the end... Um, we've got the number one there, which means, obviously, this is the first in this series. Um, so, on the back, you can see the figure in a bit more detail. Uh, you've got a close-up of Vader. You've got Vader surrounded by two Stormtroopers. Um, you know, and I think these pieces are sort of designed for you to add your Black Series figures um, onto these. I think they do have stand points for you to sort of place them in specific positions. Obviously because they are your normal six inch black series figure you can pose them however you wish. But I do believe they have like footholds um, in specific positions for you to place them in. Um, and that's the great thing is this is the same six inch scale as the rest of the black series. So you could put you know you could put your Luke Skywalker in there, you could put your R2D2 any of those will look won't look out of place, positioned alongside this centerpiece uh, release. Um, and as you can see, they've got a quick shot of Vader from behind. 
uh, and then a straight on view of the door with fader in it. And then you've got a blurb here, um, sort of placing where this scene is taking place and it is where Vader is um, seizing control of the Tantia IV uh, and boarding it to get back the Death Star plans. Um, and then at the bottom it's got a disclaimer saying that Stormtrooper figures aren't included. Um, as I say, you know, I'm sure you can pick them up online quite cheaply, uh, just loose figures to complement this set. Uh, and then on the end you've got a rather nice um, graphic drawing of Vader's mask, which sort of goes with the, the mainline Black Series figures, which a lot of them have uh, this style uh, graphic artwork on now. Um, and then on the bottom, there's nothing at all really, just your barcodes and your serial number. Um, so, as I say, I'm going to open this. So let's crack on and get this open. Uh, there's just a bit of tape here. Um, so I can get that open. Let's see what it is. I'm quite surprised at the size of the box. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be some assembly required. I'm guessing Vader isn't actually attached and you have to pose him on here. Um, I was expecting this to be a square box rather than sort of a flat box. So, yeah, it does look like there is some assembly required. Oh, yes. Like that. Let's stick that at the back there. And already this looks amazing. We've got Vader in the box on his own there. Um, so he's not a standard figure. He, he is posed in a specific pose. Um, you've got his cape. I'm not sure if that's two separate capes or if they sort of combine together. I don't know if they're different poses on the capes. Um, but I mean the detail in them looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, they really look... Ah, okay. I think that's his waist. I think that's why he's got a a gap in his waist. I'm guessing there's sort of a almost like a skirt piece to his cape and then a top one that obviously goes around um, the neck and under the helmet there uh, just to give it that extra look of depth. I didn't realise Vader had a skirt. I've never noticed that. Uh, which is really strange. Um, and then you know the figure looks amazing. He, he does look really good um, in that action pose. And then you've got the lightsaber blade which as I said now, I'm sure someone can work out how to um, run a fibre optic through him to get that light zone to, to light up. And I'm sure there's probably already customs out there that have done that. And then you've got the explosion which, when attached to the base, does light up. Um, so that's that. Let's put that to the side for now. And then you've got a nice little booklet here uh, with that graphic artwork going into a bit more detail showing Vader's uh, chest panel there. Um, that was on the box. And then what does it show us? Okay, so these are the assembly instructions. Um, quite straightforward. Okay, there's, there's there's more pieces to it than I thought there would be, actually. Uh, when I saw it was flat pack, I thought it would just be Vader straight on to the base. Um, but no, it does look a lot a lot more detailed, so this could be an interesting sort of assembly video, or I may just speed that up so you can sort of see me doing it. Um, and then you've got Vader's, oh that's the finished thing here, and then the switch is just behind Vader's hand is what it's telling us there. So that's all that is, that is just the instructions. And then I'm guessing this is all the safety precautions and warnings, so we'll put that to one side. And then we've got the rest of it. So as you can see we've got the door here. Um, and that's not a flat image, that is actually moulded and embossed with that pattern on there. Looking at it where I am, it does actually look like a flat image that's just printed flat on um, a piece of plastic, but it's not. It is actually a moulded piece of plastic, obviously with some charring around the edge. And then we've got the door frame with the, there is an orange strip, sorry about that. Um, an orange strip, which is obviously the heat glow from where Vader's cut through it with his sabre. Um, I was expecting that to be red, it does look very red on the box, so it'll be interesting to see whether that comes out orange or red, or if it's a nice sort of glow, sort of somewhere in between. Um, so I think I'm going to, I think step one of this was to actually make that base. Um, so I think I'm going to unbox this piece first. 
There's a lot of tape and a lot of um, connectors by the looks of it. So I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and I may just speed this up. I'll keep talking because I may not speed it up, I don't know. Um, just so that you guys, you know, if this does drag on a bit, I may speed it up. Um, so you guys aren't sitting there just watching me try and peel all this sellotape off. Um, oh. Any sent Vader flying now? Yeah, I think I'm going to need scissors. Um, and I'm going to grab a screwdriver to insert the battery, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm back and I believe I had the correct tools for the job. A couple of AAA batteries, just checking they were AAA after all that effort. A uh, pair of scissors and a screwdriver. A pair of scissors and a screwdriver. Not a pair of scissors, not a screwdriver. Um, so let's just try and cut some of this out without uh, getting too close. You know, if this was a Black Series figure, I would be absolutely terrified about opening this box and getting these pieces out because you know those figures look amazing and you know it's hard to display them um, but this you know it's done all the work for us so there's no fear about getting this out because this is going to be going on display um, I've been really looking forward to this so oh that was an elastic band that wasn't actually a holding piece that was another elastic band there these are well secured in, so you know I'm really pleased that this has come in such an immaculate box because I did pick this up off of eBay, I think. Um, I've ordered a couple, like I say, I've ordered the Luke one, so I can't remember which one I've ordered from where at the moment. Um, I was just so excited to find them for a decent price. Um, so that is all of the base pieces unwrapped now. So first things first, let's look at these instructions. So the first thing it says to do is to put in the batteries. So let's just take a closer look at this piece. Um, let's just focus in on there. So there's some really nice detailing just around this door frame. You know, it is it's embossed and raised. Um, there's some charring sort of marks around the edge of the door here. Um, there's quite a lot of reflection on that, but there's some sort of charring around the edge. And then we've got this sort of bumpy texture um, and it has been sort of washed to make it look darker like there's sort of been a bit um, you know like there has been some sparks that sort of maybe melted the metal that this is in um, you've got some rivet holes which I'm guessing are actually screw hole covers um, you know they don't look out of place they do look like they could be part you know the, the, the telltale sign is that they are screw holes you know, there's none on the opposite side of the door. Um, but there are some really nice sort of um, blaster marks. You know, they are pitted, so they are indented, they are scraped away. And then they've obviously been brushed with like, a dry brush uh, on there. And then you can see you've got the LED for where the um, blaster bolt explosion is going to go. And then you've got the power button sort of uh, moulded into one of the buttons on the side of the door. Um, so if we turn to the side, I mean, I really like this detail on the side. Um, if I can get a close up of it, um, you know, they've put a little bit of uh, nice detail in there. It looks really good. Um, there is a, a seam running down the middle, uh, unfortunately, but you know, this is off of a toy line, so you know, it, it's it's a set, it's a seam for a toy line to sort of fit in with. But the rest of the construction looks 
you know, it looks pretty good. It, it looks a lot better than some of the stuff I've seen uh, other people sort of do customs of. Um, so as an official thing, you know, I think Hasbro are definitely on to a winner with these. Um, and this being the first one, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm quite impressed. You know, there's, there's definitely room for improvement, but it's a good start. It's a good, strong start. Um, I can't believe even this screwdriver is too big. I should have got a posi drive uh, for this. I thought a nice little electrical screwdriver would do this well, but... Uh, Gonna persevere. Yeah, there we go, it is open. Okay, so let's get those batteries in there. Let's get that screwed up. So we have to do this beforehand because it's obviously going to go onto the base setting. Um, so this will actually be covered up once it's in place. So this is why it's the first step on the construction. You know, I'm quite surprised at how much there is to put together. Um, you know, even the base is in two parts, which, you know, I guess makes sense. Um, but again, it does mean we're likely going to have a seam, unless they've been really clever and they've covered it up with this. So maybe this piece is going to sit over the seam where the two base pieces join. Uh, and I think that's in there. Yep, okay, so that's the batteries in. So I'll just sit that back there uh, and then I need to open this. So these are these are really flat and blot and plain actually. Um, I was expecting more from that. I was expecting there to be some charring or some texture on them. They're flat, shiny black panels, which actually I, su I suppose when you think about it, uh, of the ship, you know, there's not going to be anything too dirty. You know, the tentive, the tentive fort is all bright white and clean. Um, but for some reason I was expecting these to be grey. I mean, I know I suppose they are dark grey, but, you know, if you look on the box, you know, it does look like they are... They are light grey. They're like textured to sort of almost look like stone. Um, it wouldn't make sense to be stone. It would more likely be metal. But you know they look a, a completely different colour to the door. It, I'm not too sure about that at the moment. Let's let's see how they go. But um, I don't know if he's pushing or if they let's try pushing them together. Uh, Ah, oh, they're like jigsaw, jigsaw, and that goes down on that side. Yes, there we go. Okay, I didn't want to be too forceful if I was doing it the wrong way. Let's just push those all in, lock them in, all into place. Okay, so I think they're all in. Okay, so as I was saying, I was worried there was going to be a seam running down the middle of this base. Um, there isn't, it is sort of where the door sits. So, okay, so it's, a, it's an odd shaped base. It's um, interesting. So I think this, this is the clever little piece here. On the bottom, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. I don't know how to get the angle on those. These six little pegs are actually for the Stormtroopers that I mentioned earlier. If you've got the Stormtroopers in the six inch series, these little pegs, I believe, yeah, there we go, I've almost lost one straight away. These little pegs, and I've almost lost it again. So be careful with these, they're really fiddly, really easy to lose. So these little pegs just pop out of the bottom, so you get six of them uh, all stored away in the base. Um, and I'm guessing they can go in any of these little, the little hexagonal holes that are on the corners of every one of these panels. So once you've got Vader on there and the figure, 
you can pop one of these little pegs in to hold your Stormtrooper's foot in place or any other you know, Hasbro figure um, because they do ha all have those little hole recesses on, on their foot, feet um, for you to position them in poses and so that they don't fall over basically. So I think that's a really nice sort of addition um, that Hasbro have sort of added in there and have thought about and really sort of to make you make this a display piece. So next we have to attach the door frame. Uh, you see there's just three little holes, a bigger gap this end, we'll go in that bigger gap there and that just pushes down on there like that. Let's just check that's all the way in. Uh, okay, so that's on there. So as you can see, we now have the door frame with the base, uh, and now to put on the door. So let's open that up. close look at this because there's a lot of colors in this so you see we've got this nice luminous orange sort of portraying heat from obviously burning um, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up but there is actually some texture to the edge of this can I get that there you go so this is actually textured to look like it has bubbled and burnt um, and then you've got some scratch marks in the edge um, but, you know that looks pretty cool um, it does look like someone's just gone at it with some boot polish at the end, um, just sort of over all these raised pieces. Um, but, you know, it's it's not a fantastic job on the paint job, but you know what, it looks pretty cool. And then obviously the plain side, which I said looked like a flat picture, um, but it is actually moulded. Is obviously the side we're not going to see. This is obviously the side um, that will be facing up. Uh, because there's two hexagonal pegs in the floor piece here. Uh, and I just want to make sure I'm going to align this correctly. Uh, I don't know if there's a wrong or right way. No doubt I'll get the wrong way. Where's the other hole? Right, okay. Oh, and that just sits flat. Okay, I thought it set up at an, at an angle. But that just sits flat like that. So let's just get a better view on that there. So as you can see, you've got the door, you've got the heat marks nearest on the corner nearest to uh, where Vader is, uh, where the door was. Uh, and now, now comes the burning flame of doom. Uh, so try and get this. So, obviously be careful if you are getting these out. This plastic is quite, it does feel quite brittle uh, and it's very well molded into the plastic uh, box that it comes stored in, which is great for uh, transportation. But, you know, if you just try and tug that thing out of there, you could snap one of these little spines off quite easily. Um, and that looks quite good. It's, as you can see, it's a transparent uh, orange colour, uh, if I can get it focused there. No, it's not going to focus on that at all, is it? Just, yeah. I think that's the best I'm going to get it there. Um, as you can see, it's like a translucent orange. It does look like it has some kind of black wash just sort of washed over it. Um, which doesn't look too bad. You know, it doesn't look highly detailed. Um, as you can see, one of those little spines on mine has got a slight bend to it you know it's the kind of plastic that in fact that is actually meant to be curved like that i think um you know, but you know with some warm water i'm sure you could straighten that out if that did really bug you that it wasn't quite straight um but it would make sense if something was firing out that it would go in a straight line and not in a curved line um especially if that's up if that is going curving up that wouldn't make sense gravity would bring it down so um, you know it doesn't look too bad let's see uh, how it looks on the piece uh, is there a what ah yeah okay so there's a little tab 
and a notch just in the hole here so you get the right alignment there's a little tab just on the side so you've got two latches on the top and bottom of the oval and then you've got a tab on one side so you get that in the right um, orientation now this is where it gets scary do you just push it in so those tabs recede um, you know, this could quite easily be broken because it is a soft sort of but brittle plastic uh, and these tabs don't seem to want to move and you know once this is in this is not going to come out again they're not um, they're not spring loaded tabs so I think it's just a matter of just push push it in and that's it really so commit to this no, it's not I'm too worried about breaking it um, and you've got to be careful these spines because it's so easy to for them to get in your way and for you to put weight on them um, There we go. So, yeah, you've really got to commit to that um, when you go to push that in. So I think that is now most of the way in. I don't think it's quite latched in. There we go. Now I think that's in. So that is now flush with the actual door. Um, so you can see how that's coming together. Now it looks rather odd. It almost looks like... Um, a blob of chewing gum, sort of like stuck under a school table. Um, that doesn't look too bad, you know. We'll see how it looks like when it's lit up. You know, on the box it looks amazing. See how it looks when we actually get to the real thing. Um, so now we'll put that to one side, and now onto Vader. So we have to take Vader out of his plastic housing. Uh, he's really well sorry for all the noise but he's really well gripped in here there we go so if you ever wondered what Vader looks like without his cape, that he looks like a little skinny. He looks really skinny. Obviously, he's got a big chunk missing out of his waist, but you know, <laughs> in that pose, he kind of looks like he's um, he looks rather effeminate in that position, in that pose. Like he could be sort of on the catwalk. Um, wow, the. The lack of cape really does change Vader. I'm just going to move that there so you can sort of see him a lot better without the black behind him. Um, so let's try and get some close-ups of him. I will put some pictures of the, of the finished piece at the end of this video, just so you can see in detail what it looks like. Um, so there he is. Uh, you can see his chest piece, uh, moulding in his mask. Um, and he does look like he has brown eyes to me. I know that on some of the Black Series figures he has red eyes uh, and they're more sought after. Um, and then you've obviously got, in fact, let's take him apart. Let's, I believe his head comes off. This is really weird, taking apart a Black Series figure. I mean, you know, he's, he's pretty solidly together. I was expecting this to potentially just fall apart and the camera may go flying now if this actually comes off. Huh. Huh. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe I should be twisting uh, or pinching. Uh, can't see what it is that's holding that in there. Oh. Okay, brute force. Brute force is what got that out in the end. Um, I just didn't want to knock the camera flying, so let's just rest the legs somewhere there. Uh, and then I'm going to have to... Now, the thing with Vader, trying to pull the helmet off, is that this outer helmet is a much thinner uh, 
plastic so you can't really squeeze on it like I did with the legs um, and then you've got the tusks on the front of the helmet oh, I don't want to bend it ah Hasbro why did you not send this deconstructed for us to put together there we go Ah, okay see I was expecting that part to come off and leave the peg on there but looking at the picture in the instructions it is quite clear that that's what's going to happen so there you go so you can see the helmet in great detail there he has got the silver left cheek uh, and I'm pretty sure they're brown eyes I'm color blind so if you think they look red in this video give me a shout I mean, I mean you can probably check by the serial number on the box which um, one you've got if there are red and uh, brown versions so there's Vader in all his glory uh, and then you've got the lightsaber that's very well detailed it's even got a little loop on the top there painted on uh, obviously non-functional see the chest piece the hand you know the detailing is you know it's second to none it is still just as good as the main black series line so now back to making a lot of noise trying to get the cape out which should hopefully be a lot easier as it is. But I was expecting the cape to be much more flexible but I mean, it, it does make total sense that it's not because well, you can't even see what I'm looking at. It's gone, gone blurry. Um, but you know, this is moulded to this specific pose. Um, so it is quite firm rubber, but you know, it's not super solid, but it's, you know, it's going to hold its shape. So first job is to put the skirt onto Vader's legs. Again, these notches, you know, nothing is meant to come apart on this at all. Once it's together, that's it. You can't sort of take this apart and resell it as uh, mint. You know, you can't, you're not going to be able to fool, fool anyone that you've put this together once. Um, now, what's really interesting is it looks like there is a little hook. Maybe this is just a moulding defect on mine. Um, if any of you have already got one of these and you've got the same, let me know. Because um, I'm wondering if that is from the figure. Uh, and it's meant to be sort of a lightsaber sort of hook for him to hang the lightsaber that you may get with the figure on. Because it looks far too big to be sort of a moulding defect. Um, it's just sort of a little bit of excess, but maybe it's not. Um, maybe it is actually meant to be there. Um, so let's put the torso back on you can see it's starting to look like Vader now with his skirt on <laughs> uh, his iconic belt there we go, I think that's on no, he's sort of a little bit uh, imbalanced as you can see he's, you know, he looks like he's got um, high heels or platform shoes on um, because of those pegs in his feet uh, and then the main cape goes on kind of looks a bit Kylo Ren-esque at the moment uh, he does actually he looks very much like Kylo Ren uh, without the main cape I wonder if someone saw this uh, when they were designing the Kylo Ren costume um, decloaked to Vader uh, so, how do we get those in line with those? Ah, okay, so the lightsaber actually goes behind the coat, cloak. I was expecting it to be sort of above the cloak, but it's not. It looks like it goes under, and then they just pop in there into his back, like so. You know what? I'm so engrossed in this figure, I haven't actually been looking very much at my camera. Um, so I'm sorry if some of this has been done out of shot. Um, there we go. Um, hopefully 
you've seen most of what I'm doing. I think that's made his head in place. Right, I think it can go down a little bit more. There we go, that is it. It is in now. There we are. There's Vader. As you can see, you know, his cloak holds its shape. I think I think he looks amazing as as he is. You know, if you've got uh, a six inch Vader figure, um, I think I've just found a moulding defect in the knee. Uh, as you can see, there's like a really having tr trouble focusing on this. Yeah, can you see this? There's like um, I don't know, maybe maybe where it's been pulled away from the mould. There's like a white sort of uh, rough edge here. I don't know if it's glue. Um, might be glue, just a, a drop of glue where they've glued the boots onto him. It looks like they have been glued on, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but you know what, it doesn't take away from the main piece. So, you know, if you've got a six inch figure, you know, if you can get this pose out of him, I think that would look pretty cool on display. Um, so, Vader's built. It does say to put the lightsaber in now, but I think I'm going to leave that till last just because that should just pop in. And then Vader. Ah, Vader stands either side of the doorway. So, you've got one high heel in that hole. The other one kind of looks like he's jumping at the moment. Doesn't look like he's very comfortable in this position. There, ah, okay, so he kind of. Right, his foot doesn't go flat this side, or does it? Uh, almost goes flat. Okay, there we go. So. He's in. He's on. He's standing on there. Um, his foot is lifted just at the front, um, and that is intentional. You can actually see it the way it's molded. He hasn't stepped quite down. You can see there's. You can see there's light coming in under his boot there. Um, you know he is mid step. He's about to put his weight on that door. So I quite like that. That does give it that sort of feeling of motion. Um, it's not sitting quite flat. That back bit does seem to be, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Um, obviously if you had a Stormtrooper sort of position behind it, that would sort of weigh it down as well. And then the final piece, the lightsaber blade. Uh, so there it is, just the standard translucent red. Absolutely gutted that that doesn't light up as well. Now, I probably should have tested those batteries before I put all this together um, because that is a big reveal. It's going to be really disappointing if it doesn't work. Uh, and I'm just trying to work out the angle of the lightsaber to put that in straight. And brilliant, the hole for the lightsaber is not big enough. Oh, no, nearly got it. There we go, and it's in. Okay, so that just clicks into place. And the other thing is, it does almost touch that door frame. I don't think that can be the right angle. Ah, okay, so there we go, I can straighten it out. So it was slightly bent. So I was pointing in slightly the wrong direction because what I was going to say is it was actually sitting here, which would be, you know, if they hadn't done sort of a cut away just to sort of, so you can see Vader clearly, his lightsaber would be in a place where it would actually be cutting into it. Would make sense, but yeah, I think with just a little bit of persuasion that sort of goes that way and then it will sit there quite nicely. So there's the finished piece. Um, didn't expect it to take this long. 
Uh, so I will speed some of this up for you, um, which you'll have already seen. Um, but now for the big light up. I say big light up, but... No, you do. I, I was thinking oh, we only have this explosion. We don't. We have the door frame as well. Completely forgot about the door frame lighting up as well. Um, so let's turn it on in the light. I will do it again uh, in the dark just so you can see what it looks like in the dark. Um, oh no, that's cool. I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it flickered. I was expecting it to be a static bulb. Um, and it's gone off. Um, so that's on a timer. I think you should press it twice. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Just going to read. Yeah, so a long press should just keep that on. Now that looks pretty cool. You know that that looks really cool on camera. Doesn't look quite as cool in person. It does look cool. Don't get me wrong. But on the camera, that that looks amazing. I hope you guys think so too. But um, you know, that glow around the door. You know, from any angle, that is looking awesome on camera. You know, the the orange paint on the door looks really good next to the um, the glowing door frame. It really does look like it is coming off of the light and it's not painted. Um, so that looks quite cool. Uh, let's just turn it around so you can see it from the back. Uh, try and get as many angles as I can. Uh, so you can see the door frame. You, know, you can see here the bulb is shining. So there's obviously a bulb here in the corner that is just a little bit overly bright from that angle. Uh, again, it looks good on camera, but in person it just looks a bit plasticky. It does It does look good. I do like that, and I think that's going to really come out well in the photographs. Um, I'm pleased with that. So, now I'm going to try and darken it so you can see this in the dark. Um, keep watching. There you go, so, you know, the lights look amazing. Unfortunately, Vader completely disappears in the dark. I um, don't know if there's an angle where the light would actually make him look uh, quite ominous, but it doesn't. You can't pick out his mask in any light in the dark. Um, I thought maybe the blaster or the door glow would sort of light him up. Uh, well enough that he would look really ominous. But unfortunately, you know, he, it doesn't. It doesn't quite do what that scene in Rogue One did where he's in pitch black, you see his lightsaber ignite, and then, you know, all hell breaks loose and Vader unleashes what you've always known Vader could unleash or, you know, what we've always feared Vader could unleash but never actually got to see it. Um, you know, I think the way he's lit in that sh in that scene uh, in Rogue One is brilliant. Uh, I think that's just coming up there. I don't think that's quite in right. I'll keep shooting around with that after this video. Um, but maybe if this, you know, if if you know someone that can sort of custom these to to get this lightsaber to light up, you know, even if it's quite bright, I think in the dark, you know, that red glow, if it could somehow sort of deflect onto Vader just lighting up this one side of him maybe you know it would look terrifying it would look brilliant um and that would really be a a centerpiece sort of showstopper um so i mean there are people like um cosplay chris who takes standard figures and details them he sort of customizes them puts them in poses 
as such as this. He makes his own bases. Um, so it may even be sort of something that he may do. He may do sort of a his own version of this using just a standard figure and, you know, a bit of his general know-how. But, you know, someone with a little bit of know-how can, you know, put an LED in the lightsaber. They could maybe just work on the detailing and the sort of the the uh, distressing of all this work uh, and this metal work. But we'll see. We'll see what people come up with. But anyway, I hope you really like the figure. I'm really pleased with it. You know, there is room for improvement. It is the first in the series. But, you know, I think it looks it looks really good. Um, but if you have liked this, um, please do give this video a thumbs up. There will be more coming. Um, I don't know how many more. Definitely the Luke Skywalker one, uh, um, number two in the series. I'm definitely going to be getting that and definitely will be doing that. So stick around for that. Um, but, yeah, let's see what Hasbro do on this. Um, and, you know, subscribe so you get notifications if I do do those videos, when those videos are put on. Um, and check out my other videos, the Black Series, uh, or the DeLorean Builds. And, you know, subscribe. Thanks for your time, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.